all this, okay? So this has been going on for a long time, and I'm glad that people are speaking out about it more now, but we're starting to get past the point of speaking to the point of doing. So whether it's just talking about it, whether it's donating, I mean, if there's anything you can spare, please spare it. Definitely, definitely. It's just a conversation, again, I'm glad we're all having, but as you said, it's just something that has been happening for, for years, really. And uh, this thing happening with George Memories. Floyd just kind of brought it all to a head. Yeah. And don't even get me started on the origins of police in the U.S., man. <laughs> like I said, there are so many soapboxes. I don't want to... I don't want to do all that to y'all. But basically, yeah. There's a lot of systemic racism and systemic problems that have been happening for centuries in the United States. All right. And this is just the first step. So I know that it's hard to have these conversations. I know it's hard to see what's happening. I know it's hard to protest. I know it's hard right now. But this is something that people have been experiencing for hundreds of years. And I mean, if you're just tagging the fight now, welcome. We need you. We need everyone we can get. All hands on deck. Definitely. Really well said. And uh, yeah, it was just people maybe that have, uh, are younger and maybe they just thought like, oh, well, that's just stuff that happened in the past. Like, it's not something that people still struggle with. But no, it's still happening. And uh, it's still something that we all need to come together and just try to come back to like the best of our ability. So I'm yeah. again, I'm just glad that uh, this is like informing so many people and like radicalizing so many people and just causing us all to like, come together and really try to make some change happen. Yeah. And people say like, it's wasn't that long ago or people say it was a long time ago. It wasn't that long ago. My grandma was alive in Jim Crow era. Mom was alive at the, um, what was, oh my God. Like at the end, official end of uh, segregation. Okay. So this is not that long ago. This is one generation. Yeah. And R. Gundaran says, U.S. was found on de dehumanizing and selling black people has never come to terms and fix those rooms. Yeah, it hasn't. Tulsa wasn't even 100 years ago. If y'all don't know about Tulsa, Google it. Okay. Oh, wait, don't Google Tulsa massacre, because if you Google Tulsa now, you might get like the trump rally which is yeah much bad taste I, there's like the list of things i, I, I shouldn't say but no preach speak your truth speak your truth things that guy has done is just insane like every i feel like every day is just something else that he's done to just really put us farther in front of behind and like that's definitely not a coincidence at all him scheduling yeah. that rally during that but I don't know. I feel like him doing this during, like, you know, this whole appeal that we're having right now is just waking up even more people to what, you know, has been going on. Yeah. I mean, people are starting to talk. People are starting to get educated. And I mean, this only happens when people have a conversation. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. And I mean, just keep the fight going. All right. But now for another top eight qualifier. That was a hard pivot, but there's no way to clean pivot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. MVD and base mage. Yeah, another uh, loser's, I guess, topic qualifier, as you said. But um, when it comes to Jigglypuff, the two that I know are doing really well right now are uh, base mage and Hbox, or Hungry Box. Yeah. So it doesn't really surprise me to see him uh, this far. Of course, this matchup is. Uh, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah, this looks rough, dude. Like, Jigglypuff has to commit so hard to kill, and if you miss that commitment, you die at 30. Yeah, right. and not to mention, um, fighting one of the best snakes in general. Yeah. But not for nothing, Base Mage is looking like he's making some things work for him. Using that mobility in the air to weave around all the explosions and ground control of uh, Snake. Yeah, that's like the again. That's like the one thing I would say that Jigglypuff has to going for in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I would say so far though, it's been really difficult because maybe the way that MVD is just placing these explosives. But a lot of times, if the Snake is just like really lazy about how to use projectiles, Jigglypuff can weave around it pretty well. 
It also helps I mean, that, you know. Pound. Yeah, pound is amazing. That's like one of Jamie Post's best moves. Super safe on shield. If it hits, you get so much reward as far as like combos go. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. you hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, that was just so unfortunate because he couldn't even throw the grenade because he was still in his turn from the uh, up smash. Yeah. Oh, dude, get stuck. Yep, it's right on top of Jig's head. Yeah, I don't know if base mage, base mage saw that or was able to react in time. And you're at death percent. Yeah, VD is not slowing down whatsoever. I wonder, uh, yeah, if MVD recognizes the threat of, like, you know, Jigglypuff being able to combo and kill pretty well with the rest. Because he's just, like, playing around it really well. Texas? Okay. No roll there. MVD was looking for that up tilt. But, uh, man, all these trades are definitely not in base mage's favor. Ooh. Ooh. Did he detonate that or did it just time out? Uh, yeah, he detonated it. Okay. Four there. Yeah. Not the best time to use rollout. I actually don't know when the, a good time is to use rollout. <laughs> Super punishable. I got nothing. Unless you're already like living in their head. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, you, it's rough. Yeah. Really strong display there from uh, MVD. But I don't want to count out base mage. Like, Hungry Box has really uh, opened my eyes to how good Jigglypuff can be. And a base mage is like right up there with him as far as results go. I say with Jimmy Puff. Mm -hmm. So, can definitely see him at least taking a game here from uh, MVD. Absolutely. And with the advantage of the counter pick as well. Yeah, I can see it happening. All right. And I wonder. I I'm on my counter pick too. Yeah. I like large stages as Jimmy Puff a lot of times, but. It's also you're fighting Snake too, so you don't want to give him too much room to set up. Yeah, because otherwise it's just a minefield, literally and figuratively. Okay, I like Battlefield. Um, yeah, it's it's rough when you're dealing with like all the grenades with the platforms and like the C4, but it'll it's small enough to where Jiggle can get in easier, and uh, the blast zones at the side will can live a little bit longer too. And on top of that, you have the platforms just to provide another avenue to reset your jumps and just kind of hang out there and be a bit safer. Definitely. Also has a threat of like the tech chase scene on the platform too. I've seen a, a lot of uh, early kills. Yeah. If you can get that to work out for him. Okay. A quick sidebar, guys. I haven't seen a donation in a minute. West Coast, come on. We don't have too much time. We're about to get into top eight. Get into it. Yeah, this might... Uh, I have like two more sets. Yeah, we're getting down to the wire here. Now, are these uh, are the donations here also the same as the ones on the EGBC yeah. stream? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All in the same place, or yeah, same stream of donations. Cool. Are the you guys also don't know about the other stream? Did you boot camp also providing a stream for this event? Yep. Although Top 8 will be on this stream for tonight, so make sure you stay tuned after this one because Top 8 will be right here. You already got the best seats in the house. Which is your own seat, presumably. Unless you're sitting somewhere else. <laughs> oh man, Base Mage starting to run into a lot of these hitboxes here. MVD, like, reckless abandon, throwing out every up tilt in the book because he knows it'll kill. But, uh, oh, no, he's rolling to that. Not gonna die. die. Yeah, and the battlefield helped him out a little bit. Yep, and I can just hang out up there. And Oh, he air dodged the grenade, but man, base mate is keeping track of so many projectiles, but still isn't able to avoid all of them. I also yeah, think he has was... for $11. Oh, Hazmat got a donation? Yes, sir. Shout out to Hazmat. Oh, got stuck. I think he... he burned his jump. I don't know where the C4 is, and that, that worries me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, man. This is this is why MVD is one of the best. <laughs> he, he knew through all that crazy grenade shenanigans that he still had the C4 stuck to him. Yeah, I didn't know. I got, I got mixed. I got mixed. Yeah, I had no idea either. But I did. I saw he just got a donation, but I couldn't see who it was from.
Uh, Exia23, I think, donated $19. Okay. Appreciate you. But Thanks, I believe that will round it out. Yeah, that was it. That was a quick 2-0. A lot of 2-0s tonight. The skill yeah. gap is really showing. Yeah. Um, no slouch for either of those players either. But uh, yeah, these guys, man, they're playing their hearts out. So yeah. I'm glad that a lot of these great players chose to support the tournament. Like, not only is it for a good cause, but we have some uh, amazing matches too. Yes, yeah, sir. And it's going to be even more amazing matches in the top eight. So I believe it's almost rounded out. On winner's side, we have Big D versus Louis Money. Is that how you pronounce his name? I always pronounce I, it Louis I Money. Always, it sounds cool. It, he has the dollar sign at the end, and it sounds cool. I think his Twitter is Louis Money. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. You're right. All right. It's a dope tag regardless. Um, also, we have MFA versus Void. Um, da, 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 let's see who else and on the loser side, we have MVD versus Best Ness. And oh, then, that would be interesting. Yeah, it will be. And then Nico versus the winner of JP or JP versus Rival. So the winner oh, of that. Oh, wow. Nico. I'm definitely rooting for Rival. Got to gotta support the SoCal boys. Let's go. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a good match. Lots of good matches here. But guys, that'll wrap it up for us. But we do have to plug a couple things because there's a reason why we're here today. So... First, if y'all don't know, we're doing this charity tournament for um, a lot of things in the Black Lives Matter movement, but starting off with the George Floyd Memorial Fund, um, organized by George, George Floyd's brother, Falonze. It's uh, GoFundMe directly support his family. And also, I mean, George Floyd was the spark that set off the powder cake, but there's so many other black people that we lost but well before the time to police, police brutality. George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Tamir Rice, um, Tony McDade, Eric Gardner, Sandra Bland, Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, Philando Castile, Trayvon Martin, David McKate, uh, Taisha Miller, John Crawford. Say their names because they're part of this movement too, even in spirit. And also supporting the Minnesota Healing Justice Network. It's a mutual aid uh, network of professional healers that work to um, essentially provide support for large movements and do work in various communities. And also they help emotionally with so many so much of the upheaval that's happening right now all right so people need as much help as they can get and also it's supporting the bail funds all right so like i was saying before when people get arrested they're pretty much locked up until their court date so if you don't have money you have to wait weeks months until you can get out and try it and black people historically have higher bails posted than um, everyone else. So this is all to help out Black Lives Matter. This is all to help out the culture. This is all to help out the people. And this is all to help out the world. So soon a part to make the world a better place. So thank you for tuning in and thank you for donating. And Strides, got anything to lead us out? Um, you covered pretty much everything. <laughs> that was very <laughs> well said. But uh, again, I just want to quickly give a, another shout out to Rio Beat for even organizing this whole event like there's so many different ways that smash communities come together to you know bring awareness to these social issues and i'm just glad that uh with the momentum that black lives matter movement has gained that we were able to participate in a way that you know brings the smash community together for a good cause as i mentioned so many times so definitely shout out to everyone that's been watching shout out to everyone that's donating and uh put this whole thing together Yes, thank you. Also, thank you, Lavender Esports, for another $20. And, oh, a message, too. On behalf of Base Mage, Suarez, and the rest of us at Lavender. So, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that will about do it for our block. So, Top 8 will be right on this stream. And, oh, and Jay Clayton. Guys, now the donations are coming in. All right, oh. I appreciate it. I see you all, okay? They're just Let's getting, go. They're getting warmed up for uh, Bam and Flambeau. Yes, <laughs> That's sir. what it is. Yeah. So this leaves the rest for uh, Bam and Flambo. Y'all are in good hands. It's going to be a lit top eight. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. Remember, Black Lives Matter. Stay safe there.